Reggaeville TV. What did I say? Reggaeville. Yo, Wembley. I say Wembley. I say Wembley. The whole concert, the One Love Peace Festival is a great idea. I mean, it's always good to bring people together with music and reinforce positive um, values and views and ideas to the youth. Them. So, I mean, today was just about having fun too, you know what I mean? Um, unity. There's a lot of problems with the youths them nowadays, a lot of people scattered and things. So um, music just brings people together and helps people to understand how to work with each other. I think it's a great, great vibe. So there was a good performance. Wasn't as long as I wanted. You know what I mean? I bring my band and this and that, but I had a lot of songs to sing. I haven't been here in London in a long time. But you know, there's a lot of artists and it's all for a good cause. So we ease up on the time thing and that's it, man. It was just a good vibe all around. Hey, yo, it's a one love peace thing, see? The arena was loaded with people, people from, from all over England that appreciate reggae music and love reggae music to the bone, to the core. Um, and for me, the message, One Love Peace Festival for all of the crime and the violence and bringing so many people, so many thousands of people together in a one place with such a positive vibe. Big up to all the sponsors of the event, Dexter and uh, his son Amari and all of these people who made this happen. Um, I think it's a, a wonderful idea. Yeah, no, I'm really pleased to be here, man. It's, it's a fantastic show. It really was. Um, the reason why I got involved in it, because I was told about that there was an underlining message and it was just about, you know, music and that. It was about knife and gun crime and saying, put down the knife, put down the gun, be positive and try to inspire young people. So I managed to get my message across by saying that if Levi Roots can do it, then anyone can do it. So really enjoyed myself. It was a brilliant show. Yeah, man, it's a boy, Gypsum and Das, and it's all about the one love. A reggae fest, reggae festival, I'm telling you, it's a thing. It's off the chain. People full jive themselves to the fullest. And I was crazy on stage because I was getting mad love from the fans, mad love from the audience. So I gotta say it was off the chain. You miss it? Sure, next year, make sure you're in it. <laughs> When I look so, when I look so, when I look so, I see so such a man. Um, to be abroad and to see your own people, them like you know, what I mean, you, you know, they're understanding exactly what you're saying. That's an amazing feeling. So today, yeah, the, all the Caribbeans in the crowd. Um, I see a lot of Jamaican flags out there. It was a good vibe, and it's really what I expected. I mean, um, we we have such strongholds in different places there's there's like almost um, almost four million people or so in jamaica and then outside of that now you have an next four million people. so we have people all over the place there's always a good feeling to know that uh, when they hear our music they feel more at home um and it's just a good vibe man <laughs> Yeah, naturally, you know, and performing for Jamaicans anyway in the world is very ticklish. You gotta know how, you know how to please them. <laughs> yeah, they all enjoy themselves. It's a good look, good turnout. Yeah, you know. All London people, I wanna sing along with me. It's a unity thing, together. So we got some. 
It's always something special because they take that with them. Not often do they get to, to come to a major festival like this. I mean, this is like never. This is history. And to see so many of them with them camera ranting, I know I'm, them, them are take it with them home, back home or wherever. Any anyway, of them come from Jamaica that day, believe me. <laughs> Well, it's fantastic. It's fantastic to see that because, again, I, I think the crowd that came tonight were really expecting something special. There hasn't been a, a reggae show or festival like this for a very long time in the UK. So people, that, you know, that's loved reggae and has grown up with it hasn't managed to, hasn't, um, you know, been able to come to a concert like this for a long time. So everybody came out tonight. You know, everybody was feeling the love. And, of course, there was a lot of young people there in the audience tonight. So for me, that was very special. Hey, but you are not on the talk in this and that. They say, Me, you said, I have a new machine in Jamaica with my catch thief. And them send the machine to Germany and catch about 600 thief. And then them send the machine to Canada, 500 thief. And go make this thing and send the machine to Jamaica and then just thief the machine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to advise you, those of you who don't know, that tomorrow is a very special day in the life of Jamaica. What's tomorrow? Emancipation Day, the first of August. And then, even better, on Saturday coming, what is it? What is it? What is it? Okay. In Jamaica, Independence Weekend for me as a kid always mean this party thing. <laughs> so, I mean, everybody's going right now, and I feel like I'm missing out. Everybody is in the country, in Jamaica, partying. Um, basically, there, there's also a festival type thing where, you know, it's, it's more cultural, but the kids really pay attention to partying. And I think in Jamaica, socializing is an important part of our growing. Um, I recently see a little girl, a, a sister of my own who lives in Orlando now and she brings back her kids every year and she says to me there's a lot more things for my kids to do in Orlando I can take them there and take them there but they don't talk to each other they don't talk to other kids when they're at these big old places they don't socialize but when they come to Jamaica and our kids are six and seven year old but when they come to Jamaica they, they talk more with friends and have friends and and it's a smaller island so the growing is different so I love that about about the vibe you know love that about Jamaica and the country let me wish you a happy emancipation and also a happy Independence Day. I think I celebrated on stage, you know. Yeah, because naturally, even though I'm away, I'm still a Jamaica, you know. So probably the celebration is happening, I'm a part of it automatically. Feel the heart and soul of a nation. I just think that Jamaica is not completely independent right now and being completely independent with such a small country um, I think that they may need they need a whole lot more time and the people the children are suffering from 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 a whole heap of things politically and I think they need much more help than the independence vibe and the independence parties in Jamaica it's not about that because Jamaica are independent we're not free yet we got a lot of work to do and it needed so I don't think it's time for celebrations yet. <laughs> all right. Bless. We are all Jamaicans, proud Jamaicans, and we will ever be one love.